Good evening. I am truly honored to be here with you tonight. As a citizen, I find myself looking out on a global environment that seems more troubling and uncertain than any time in my lifetime. And I imagine many of you feel the same. We are grappling with a level of conflict and insecurity that seems to exceed our will and capabilities with more refugees than ever before, with new wars erupting on top of existing conflicts, some already lasting decades. We see a rising tide of nationalism masquerading as patriotism and the reemergence of policies encouraging fear and hatred of others. We see some politicians elected partly on the basis of dismissing international institutions and agreements, as if our countries have not benefited from cooperation but actually been harmed by it. We hear some leaders talking as if some of our proudest achievements are in fact our biggest liabilities, whether it is the tradition of successfully integrating refugees into our societies or the institutions and treaties we have built rooted in law and human rights. We see nations that played a role, a proud role, in the founding of the International Criminal Court, withdrawing from it on the one hand, and on the other, we see arrest warrants for alleged war crimes issued but not implemented, and other crimes ignored altogether. We see a country like South Sudan ushered by the international community into independence and then largely abandoned, not by the UN agencies and NGOs, but effectively abandoned without the massive support they need to make a success of sovereignty. And we see resolutions and laws on the protection of civilians and the use of chemical weapons, for instance, flouted repeatedly and in some cases under the cover of Security Council vetoes as in Syria. Many of these things are not new, but taken together and in the absence of strong international leadership, they are deeply worrying. 